Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about how to pair this with your virtual desktop and Steam. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K, and today we're talking about how you can pair this guy with your virtual desktop and Steam account. We're going to be taking Half-Life 2 as an example, but of course, you can use any other game that you want in Steam to make this work. Now, before we proceed, you're going to have to pair your controller to your PC first. And if you want to learn how to install the latest update of Virtual Desktop 1.10, link in description below to that video. Okay, make sure you're in Steam on the desktop and at the top right hand side, choose Big Picture Mode. Once you're in Big Picture Mode, click on the wheel little settings icon and go to controller settings. And then make sure that you choose whichever controller that you have. Okay, exit big picture mode. Now what you do is you go back to your normal Steam, the libraries tab, and go all the way to Half-Life 2. Once you reach there, right click and you'll see manage, then choose control configuration. It will open up a pop-up, make sure you're happy with the configuration, and then close the box. Okay, now wait, before you click start, here's what you need to do. You just go inside of your Oculus app, make sure that you pair the app with the Oculus Quest that you're working with and then click on controller, pair a new controller and you will see the gamepad that you can choose and just choose it, it will scan it automatically and add it to your library. By the way, if you want to find out how to install the VR mode of Half-Life 2, link in description below to that video. Open your virtual desktop installer from your PC to make sure that when you open virtual desktop in the Oculus Quest afterwards, it would pair your computer together. Now go into your Oculus Quest, open up virtual desktop from the main library menu and simply go to input and make sure that emulate gamepad on PC is enabled. Make sure that controller interact with PC is also enabled as the next step is quite important. Before I share with you the last step to the installation, I just want to give a very quick shout out to all those who watched the previous video, which was Half-Life 2, comparing it to Virtual Desktop and the VR mode using Oculus Link. Thank you very much, guys. You are awesome. Make sure to leave some comments below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. Go into your Oculus Quest Virtual Desktop and locate your Steam app. Make sure it's open and then go to your Half-Life 2 app and wait for the page to load. Once it's loaded, go to the top right hand side corner of the Steam app and locate Big Picture. Now click on that so you can enable Big Picture View. You're going to see that Half-Life 2 is much bigger now. There's a bigger picture on the left hand side. So all you need to do is click on Manage and make sure that the controller setting is set to Global and it's also set to the Xbox 360S controller and then you can close that. All right, you're done. Now just smash that play button and you'll see that as the game loads, there'll be a little icon on the bottom right hand side to let you know that your Xbox's controller was found by Steam and it is paired to your Oculus Quest. So all good. Any game that is run using the Oculus Quest will not work unless you are in a big picture view. So do not exit big picture view at any moment in time. Thank you for watching today's video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Woo!